Hey guys, I'm Christian Topler from WoodsyDeck.com. We're going to be doing a video on archery today, so stay tuned. Alright, so we're going to be starting a series of videos on archery. It's probably going to be titled something like Sustainable, sustainable Bow or Sustainable Archery, uh, something like that. And this is going to be mainly focusing on traditional style bows, not compound bows. The main reason for this is that with a compound bow, you can't make your own ammunition in the woods. Whereas with a bow like this, I can make wooden arrows with primitive, I, I don't like to wor use the word primitive, but primitive tips and f fletchings that will allow me to recreate ammunition and allow me to extend the use of this bow pretty much forever. Because this bow, this is a Primal Gear Unlimited folding bow. I really, really, really like this thing. It's an awesome bow. But it's never going to break. I mean, it's solid. It's made of aluminum and fiberglass. And, I mean, you can roll over this thing with a car. You can drop it off a cliff. It's not going to break. It's a nice bow. I wanted to mention something else about this bow. You know, this bow, once you take it down, just real quick. Once you take it down and you fold it in, there's really nothing mechanical that can go wrong in this bow. You know, you could say these lug nuts could possibly go wrong, but even if they do go wrong, I could just take a piece of cordage and loop it around here and tie it, and my bow would still be functional. I could still shoot it in a survival situation. There's one thing I want to mention about this bow. You can also make strings for your bow in the wild. This is a really beat up string I have. I'm going to be ordering a new one soon. But you can make strings out of natural materials for your bow. We'll also cover that in this series. So in terms of tools you can carry. I like to carry, for fixing my arrows, super glue. This is just Loctite gel super glue. And that's really awesome for repairing knocks and points and other stuff like that. Uh, you also, I also like to carry uh, like just hot glue. This is just the rubber, you know, hot glue for crafts and stuff like that. And in my opinion, it actually bonds stronger than the archery stuff. I mean, you can carry the archery stuff, you know, that's fine. It just seems a little bit more brittle to me. I also carry broadheads for killing large game. And then also, it's good to carry small game points like these. They drastically reduce your chances of losing your arrows. For tools, I like to use a belt knife and I'm gonna use my pocket knife as well for some of the upcoming videos we're gonna do. So I thought what we'd do in this series is we'd start by uh, showing you how to fix the arrows that you've brought with you. And then, you know, say you've lost your arrows or something, We'll show you how to make your own arrows. We'll go to more like primitive styles of points and stuff that you can make with your knife. Um, you can make with stone tools, although we're going to be using tools like this because we're figuring that you've already brought knives and tools into the woods. And uh, that's what we're going to do in this series. And then we'll kind of like uh, show you also arrows you can make at your home. Say, you know, there was, you, had, didn't, you didn't have access to arrows you had to make them at your home. We'll also show you how to make broadheads as sheet steel and uh, other types of fletchings that you can make at home really easily. And that's what we're gonna be doing in this series. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Visit me at my website at www.wizzytech.com. See you guys later.